This week I decided to paint minimal expressive landscapes in large formats and because these are studies and exploration I wanted to find a good option to paint on paper that would be functional and affordable. The paper I'm looking for has to be large enough so 16 by 20 or more thick enough so that it doesn't warp too much when using acrylic paint so maybe a hundred pounds or more it has to be acid free just in case i get something really nice i want to be able to preserve it i want it white not eggshell color or cream i prefer the paper to be white and most importantly i want it to be inexpensive I plan to do a bunch of studies, mess up a lot in the process because I'm exploring, so I need an affordable option. So I have a Bristol vellum paper, a watercolor paper by Strathmore, a thick drawing paper by Canson, and I have a Mayfair paper as well. I'm gonna get to painting and exploring, and I'll let you know my thought on what paper performed the best with my acrylic paints. A quick note about canvas paper, there is the option of buying canvas paper, which is exactly what the name is. It's in paper form, but it really feels like fabric and canvas. I've used it before, I like it. For my personal taste, there's just a little bit too much texture for what I want. And I haven't seen a large format of that type of paper in my local art supply store. For that reason, I didn't really test it out, but I had used it in the past. What I wanted for this test was real paper, real thick paper that would be really affordable. After working with these different papers, I could say that the Bristol vellum worked really well. The paper is very white, it's thick enough so that it doesn't warp too much. There's a little bit of warping, but there is warping on all papers, no matter how thick they are, because it's still paper, but it's very minimal. Especially if you tape the paper the way I did, it prevents some excessive warping. Bristol paper comes in smooth and in vellum. The vellum has a little bit of texture. I tried it with gesso and without gesso 
and it doesn't really matter. It's more a question of personal taste. The vellum texture of the Bristol paper is enough to grip um, your acrylic paints so that it doesn't feel too slippery on the page. If you want a little more grip, you can of course add some gesso, but it didn't need it per se. Then I used watercolor paper, which worked really well. This watercolor paper was the least white of all the papers that I've tried, but it's still white enough for me. It has some texture, but it's a nice kind of subtle texture that I don't really mind. A paper with too much texture can be distracting to me and undesirable, but this one wasn't. I like the texture that it has. It's very nice and subtle. Because it's a watercolor paper, it handles water perfectly. So I didn't need gesso and I didn't experience too much warping at all. Then I used the Canson drawing paper that I bought, which is the thinnest of all of them. Although it's the thinnest, I didn't experience an excessive amount of warping. It worked pretty well, but I would not necessarily recommend it for acrylic paint. I found that it didn't handle the peeling of the tape really well. It kind of damaged all the edges of the the paper. It's really meant more for drawing. I wanted to try it to see if I could get away with it, but I bought it mostly because I wanted to use it for charcoal portraits. So it works, but it's not ideal. The last paper was Mayfair. It's the most expensive of all of those. It's $4 a sheet. It's a bit larger as well, and it's the thickest of them as well. I was expecting this one to perform really well, but honestly, I didn't see that big of a difference compared to Bristol. It still warped a little bit, even though it was super thick. It handled the tape peeling off really well. It's very white. It's a really great paper. It's just a little bit more expensive than the other ones. And I didn't see that big of a difference. So all the papers served me well for my studies. These are really good options. And my favorite is the Bristol Vellum. It's the whitest of them. It doesn't need gesso. It's thick enough. It handles acrylic pretty well and the price is right. But I will repurchase the watercolor paper in this format as well, just because I think it's an amazing option if you want a little bit more texture or if you want to use it in mixed media. If you want to mix watercolors and charcoal and all different types of medias. And I think that's a great option as well. And if you want more inspiration, you can watch this one next. I'm in love with you. 